Is Westboro Baptist Church anti-Semitic? Why would a person think they are anti-Semitic? The Southern Poverty Law Center and the ADL say they are. And to many people, that's good enough reason. But I want to be more of a critical thinker. I personally saw Morris D. speak, and I didn't get the best vibes from him. He gave me the impression that he was arrogant. Westboro Baptist Church has a monograph about him and the Southern Poverty Law Center. And since I hate liberals so very much, I might be inclined to take Fred Phelps' side on this matter. This does not mean I agree with him on every last thing he ever said. It just means, on this matter, I think I'll take his side. During that presentation I saw, one person asked Morris to use a question. He saw an article about how it was listed, the Southern Poverty Law Center that is, as one of the most unneedy charities. So I don't think I'm going to take liberal Morris D's word for it. I inherently distrust liberals, and he is a big liberal, so I'm not going to take his word for it. They say mean things about Jews. Does that make them anti-Semitic? If they are anti-Semitic, they're not in the sense we typically think of it. When I think of anti-Semitic, I think of neo-Nazis painting swastikas on synagogues. But that's not their style. They don't do it that way. So if that's what you're thinking of in being anti-Semitic, then you're mistaken. They have a sign that says, God hates Jews. Does that make them anti-Semitic? I don't think so. Not that alone. They have signs that say, God hates everything. So, we can't conclude on that alone. They sing parodies. They sing their songs that aren't very nice about Jews. Guess what? Weird Al Yankovic also has a parody that pokes fun at Jews. It's irreverent. The song is Pretty Fly for a Rabbi, which is a parody of Pretty Fly for a White Guy of the Offspring. Their main position on Jews is very different than many other people. In fact, they are generally more accepting of Jews than they are of other groups. I say this because they allow that certain Jews are going to go to heaven. They call them elect Jews. 144,000 elect Jews, they say, are going to heaven. They don't say 144,000 elect Jews. Episcopals, or Presbyterians, or atheists. So if that's anti-Semitic, I don't know what is. If they are anti-Semitic, then wouldn't that make Pat Robertson anti-Semitic along with the rest of the modern mainstream Christian evangelicals? What they're saying is if you don't believe in Christ, you're going to hell. Jews don't believe in Christ. Why is that anti-Semitic when Fred Phelps says it? Isn't anti-Semitic behavior when you categorize all Jews as bad? They're not saying that. They're saying there are some Jews that are good and some Jews that are not bad.
Some Jews are good, some Jews are bad. That is their position. I'm skeptical that we can apply the term anti-Semitic to them. At least not in the traditional sense. I don't think they would warrant that label. Especially in the context of everything they do. It's not as if they are singling out Jews. In fact, that came real late in the game. They started their anti homosexual activity about 20 years ago. I don't remember exactly when they started their anti-Jewish things, but I think it was 2006, somewhere around there. So I'm not so sure the label anti-Semitic applies to Westboro Baptist Church. 